What's up, everybody? Robert Sykes, KetoSavage.com. Crystal Love, KetoBrick.com. I got a little fuzzy floating around here. <laughs> um, anyways, I pretty much lost my voice completely, so I'm letting her do a lot of the talking today. Oh. Yeah, congratulations. And <laughs> also, we have no idea if this recipe is going to work. All these Miracle Rest recipes we've been making this month are total toss up, so. We'll see what happens. It might be a soup by the end of this instead of the pizza that we're planning for. But it's supposed to be miracle pizza. And you need, and we're only counting the crust here. We're going to put whatever toppings you want onto it. But the crust is going to be one ounce of cream cheese, one whole egg, 100 grams of mozzarella, and miracle rice. And I'm using one of those big bulk package sleeves. You could use several of the smaller ones. Um, we're gonna see how that works. But these ingredients yield these macros. 35 grams of fat, 33 grams of protein, five grams of carbs, which breaks down to 68% fat, 28% uh, protein, and 4% carbs. Boom. All right, now another quick little caveat. Actually, we'll just get into that in the cooking, so catch you on a little bit. All right, y'all, this is the big sleeve of Miracle Rice, and this is the big question with this recipe. Right now, we've, we've got one of these, we've strained it, and we've put it single layer onto a baking sheet, and we've got it in the oven right now, and we didn't film us doing that because it's pretty self-explanatory. Basically, strain this in a strainer, a sieve, and stick in the oven at 450, 425 to let it dry out. These things hold water. There's like 97% there's like water by weight. The idea is to take a lot of that moisture out by putting it in the oven so that this crust holds up. So that's what we're doing right now. All right, y'all, so we had the Miracle Rice in the oven for like 40 minutes at 425. Was it 425 or 450? 25. 425. And this is what it looks like. It's still a little moist, but I mean, a lot of the moisture has been taken out of it. So we're gonna just use this as our base and we're gonna make this into the crust. So get ready. All right, so we got the cream cheese in there. We're going to put the cheese in there and then we're gonna melt it in the microwave. This is the point where I like to add in whatever seasonings you like in there. We're just gonna add in a little bit of Italian. You can add some salt, whatever you'd like. Go ahead and add in the miracle rice. You might, you probably won't need the whole sleeve. We're not counting the macros on that anyways, since they're basically zero calorie. I kind of just squish it in there. All right, once that's all mixed in, you might have to reheat the cheese if it didn't blend very well or mix very well. And then go ahead and add the egg on top and mix it all up. All right guys, so now that we got all of that mixed together, you should be able to kind of like be able to grab it in a ball and flop it on there. And then all we gotta do is spread it out. If it's a little bit hard for you to spread out, then you can use parchment paper to just use it to smooth out. All right y'all, so now that we have our crust on our tray, we're gonna stick this in the oven at 425. Let it kind of harden up some. All right, y'all, it has been in the oven at 425 for 20 minutes, starting to brown on top. That's what we're looking for. Let's take it out and doctor it up. All right, now's the fun part. Now we get to doctor this up with whatever we want. I'm gonna put some cheese, some pesto. This is really good pesto. And I'm gonna put some anchovies on there. I don't know if y'all are gonna like anchovies or not, but put whatever you want. I'm a fan of anchovies. I'm putting them on there. We're gonna stick it back in for another five, ten minutes or so, let all those ingredients melt on top.
All right, y'all, the Miracle Rice Pizza is done. It's not really like, it's kind of flimsy, I'm gonna lie. It's, it's not really a crunchy, thin, stiff crust. Um, but I'm excited I mean, to try it. I think it's like a roll up. Yeah. Like you put stuff in there, roll it up, and then like have it in like little pieces. It smells really good. It's kind of weird, it's like a, it's like a spongy, it's like not a crunchy, crisp crust. It's kind of like a spongy crust. You think it would hold up better if you baked it a little longer? Yeah, I'd bake it longer for sure. With the Miracle Rice, there's just so much moisture in there. So you gotta just bake it longer to kind of compensate for that. You're gonna get more full. Yeah, you will get more full. <clears throat> and honestly, like, there's not a whole lot of creativity that went into this. Um, actually, Teresa Dodd, my client, that I had on the podcast, she's the one that sent me the recipe for this, so shout out to Teresa. But it's basically like a fathead crust without the almond flour. I think she actually used almond flour in hers. I just wanted to see with, without almond flour. Um, but this would be good, like when you're in a contest prep, when you're trying to watch your macros, or you can't have almonds or almond flour. Yeah, there's like other things that you can you can um, kind of dry it up too with like um, psyllium husk powder or like a flax seed or something like that. If you can't have nuts and you still want to make it a little bit more crunchy. Yeah, you can definitely add a powder to it mm. to make it more crunchy, but it smells it's not really bad. Good. You get like the flavor of pizza, obviously. Um, so yeah, I'm about to chat down and eat this whole thing because the macros are low enough that I can do that because it's a miracle pizza. Miracle. Catch y'all later.